in that match up there. All right, next slate, we're going to hop into some Major League Baseball. We're going to begin with the New York Mets taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. 105 Eastern first pitch at Citizens Bank Park in South Philly. The Phillies opened as the $1.25 favorite total at 9. And since those markets opened this one up, we're actually seeing a 10 cent fade of the Phils when it comes to the sides. We're also seeing a little bit of movement upward on the total, up to 9.5. So once again, the Phillies open 125 down to minus 115. Total open nine up to nine and a half. 62% of the consensus is leaning toward Philadelphia. 54% of the consensus is leaning toward the under. Right now, the Mets are plus 105 on the money line. Philadelphia plus 160 on the run line. We have Zach Wheeler for the Mets. Jake Arrieta for the Phils. Zach Wheeler is one and one with a 747 ERA for New York. Jake Arietta looking like the Arietta of old, 2 and 1 on the year with a 225 ERA for the fight in Phils. The Philadelphia is 3 and 2 straight up in their last 5, 6 and 4 straight up in their last 10 at home. They rank 1st in Major League Baseball in walks, 5th in home scoring. The Mets on the other side, they actually rank dead last in striking out. They're averaging 10.2 strikeouts at the plate per game. They also rank dead last in runs allowed. Nearly seven runs per game they're giving up on the defensive side of things. Now, total-wise, New York is 13-3 and to the over, 9-2 and to the over away from home. Meanwhile, Phillies 10-5 to the over for the season. Give me the Phillies, minus 115 in the over. Nine and a half runs in that game. Next matchup, it is going to be St. Louis-Milwaukee, 140 Eastern first pitch in Milwaukee. The Brewers are minus 125, totals at nine. 52% are leaning Milwaukee, 75% shaded toward the over. The cards are plus 115 on the money line, Milwaukee plus 140 on the run line. Waka for the cards, Burns for the Brewers. Waka's got a 5-2-8 ERA. Burns is 0-1 uh, with a 10-0-5 ERA. Now Milwaukee is first in home scoring, second in home hits. Meanwhile, St. Louis has dropped eight out of their last nine, taking on Milwaukee if you're into historical trends. St. Louis is also allowing 5.6 runs per contest on the road. Now, total-wise, St. Louis is 11-5 to the over for the season, 80% to the over in their last five away from home. Give me the Brewers, minus a buck and a quarter in the over nine runs. Next matchup, Kansas City, Chicago White Sox, 210 at guaranteed rate field. The Chicago White Sox open the betting as the $1.10 favorite. Pretty much a pick 'em contest in this one. Total open at nine and a half. Not a whole lot of movement on the money line. Good two way action there. We're seeing a little bit of movement downward on the total, down the nine flat. So once again, Chicago open minus 110. They remain minus 110. Total open nine and a half, down the nine even. 52% are leaning Kansas City, 56% shaded toward the under. Right now, the Royals are minus 110 on the money line. Like I said, pretty much a pick em contest in this one. Meanwhile, the White Sox are plus 160, laying the run and a half. We have Keller on the bump for the Royals, Giolito on the bump for Chicago. Keller is 2 and 1 with a 245 ERA for Kansas City. Giolito is 2 and 1 on the year with a 619 ERA for the Chicago White Sox. Chicago's 4-1 straight up in their last five. They actually rank eighth in the MLB in hits at home. Now, Kansas City's just 3-11 straight up in their last 14. They are still winless away from home this season. 0-4 straight up away from home on the year. Now, total-wise, Kansas City is 3-1 to the under on the road when the line was 9 or higher. Give me the Chicago White Sox, minus 110, getting the job done at home in the under. Nine runs. Next game, Reds, Dodgers, 310, Los Angeles. The Dodgers open 185, total at eight. Seeing movement downward on the spread, and I'm sorry, downward on the money line and upward on the total. Nickel fade of the Dodgers in the early going here, down to minus 180, total eight and a half. So once again, the LA Dodgers open 185, down to minus 180, total open eight, up to eight and a half. 72% are leaning Dodgers, 74% shaded toward the under. Right now, Cincinnati's plus 160 on the money line. Dodgers plus 110 on the run line. Sonny Gray for the Reds. Walker Bueller for the Dodgers. Sonny Gray's 0-2 on the year, but has a 
202 ERA. Walker Bueller on the other side, 1 0 on the year with a 825 ERA. Despite Bueller's struggles, the Dodgers are 3 0 straight up in their last three, second in home scoring. Cincinnati's 0 5 straight up away from home this year. They're averaging just five hits per game on the road. Total wise, Cincinnati just 4 11 to the over overall for the year. They're just 20% to the over in their last five. Give me the Dodgers minus 180 and the under 8.5. Next game, Red Sox, Yankees, 635 Yankee Stadium. New York Open minus 110, total 9.5. Good two way action on this one. Not a whole lot of movement on the money line. We did see a half a run move downward on the total down to nine even. Once again, New York open and remains minus 110. Total open nine and a half down to nine. 60% on New York, 76% toward the over. Boston's minus 110 on the money line as well. Pretty much a pick em contest coin flip. Yankees plus 160 laying the run and a half. Nathan Yovaldi for Boston. Jay Happ for the Yankees. Yovaldi 8-4-0 ERA for the Red Sox. Meanwhile, Jay Happ for the Yankees, 0-2 on the year with an 8.76 ERA. Now, the Yankees have won two out of their last three. They rank sixth in Major League Baseball in walks. They also rank seventh in runs allowed at home. Boston's dropped three out of their last four. They also rank second to last in the Major League Baseball in runs allowed on the road. Once again, Boston, second to last in runs allowed on the road in Major League Baseball. When it comes to the total, New York is just 3-5 and five to the over at home. Give me the Yankees minus 110 in the under. Nine runs in that one there. Next game, Cleveland, Seattle. 6.40 Eastern first pitch at the Mariners. Cleveland open 140, total 8.5. Nickel fade of Cleveland on the money line. Movement downward on the total to 8 flat. Once again, Cleveland open 140, down the minus 135. Total open 8.5, down the 8 even. 57% are leaning Cleveland, 55% shaded toward the over. The Mariners are plus 120 on the money line. The Indians are plus 115, laying the run and a half. We have Carrasco for Cleveland, Swanson for Seattle. Carrasco is 1 and 2 with a 12 6 0 ERA. Swanson uh, comes into this game with a 9.00 ERA for the Mariners. Now, despite Swanson's struggles, Seattle ranks first in scoring, fourth in hits. Cleveland's won just two out of their last five. They rank dead last in hits. Total-wise, Seattle's 15-4 and four to the over, 70% to the over at home. Give me the Mariners, plus 105. Covering on the run line in the over eight runs. In that contest there. Next game, blank screen. It is going to be Pittsburgh taking on the Tigers. 640 Eastern first pitch in Detroit. Pittsburgh's minus 110, totals at 8. Pretty much a pick em contest in this one. 63% are leading Pittsburgh, 80% shaded toward the over. Detroit's minus 110 on the money line as well. Pittsburgh plus 145 on the run line. Trevor Williams for the Buccos, Turnbull for the Detroit Tigers. Trevor Williams is 1 0 with a 2 4 5 ERA for Pittsburgh. Turnbull is 0 2 with a 4 8 0 ERA for Detroit. The Tigers have lost their last four straight. They also rank second to last in runs scored. Pittsburgh 7-3 straight up in their last 10. They rank fifth in runs allowed and third in hits allowed. Total-wise, Pittsburgh 6-3 to the under away from home. Detroit 11-5 to the under overall for the year. Give me the Pirates minus 110 in the under eight runs. Next game, Giants. Nationals, 705 Washington. The Nationals open 140, total at nine. Not a whole lot of movement on the total. 10 cent fade of Washington on the money line down to 130. Once again, the Nats open 140, down to 130, total at nine. 59% are leaning Washington, 63% shaded toward the under. San France plus 115 on the money line, Washington plus 145 on the run line. Samarja for the Giants, Hellickson for the Nats. Samarja's 1-0 with a 1-6-2 ERA for San Francisco. Hellickson's 1-0 with a 2-2-5 ERA for Washington. The Nats dropped three out of their last four. They're also 26 and striking out at home. We're looking at 10.2 Ks per contest in that category there. Meanwhile, San Fran on the other side, winners in four out of their last five. They're third and runs allowed. 
Total wise San Fran, 12 and 6 to the under overall for the year, 63% to the under away from home. Give me the Giants plus one and a half, getting the job done on the run line in the under nine. Orioles, Tampa Bay, 7-10, Eastern first pitch in Tampa Bay. No line on the game, but we do have some stats here. We have Hess projected on the bump for Baltimore, Stanek probable for the Rays. That could change. You never know. It is baseball. Hess is 1-2 and two with a 3-3-2 ERA for Baltimore. Stanek with a 2-16 ERA for the Rays. Tampa Bay is 7-1 and one straight up in their last eight. They rank first and runs allowed at home. Just 1.6 runs per contest in that category there. Baltimore just 2-6 and six straight up in their last eight. They rank 28th and runs allowed. No line on this game, but I like Tampa Bay getting the job done in this one. Give me Tampa Bay winning by a score of 4-3. to three. Next game, Cubs, Marlins, 7-10 Miami. The Cubbies are minus 150, totals at 8, 67% are leaning Cubbies. Miami's plus 135 on the money line, Cubs plus 105 on the run line. Hamels for the Cubs, Sandy Alcantara for the Marlins. Hamels is 2-0 with a 3-7-9 ERA. Sandy Alcantara is 1-1 with a 4-2-4 ERA. Miami's dropped 8 out of their last 9. They also rank dead last in scoring. Chicago's 5-2 straight up in their last 7. They rank 5th in road scoring and 2nd in road walks. Total wise, Chicago is 11-5 to the over for the year. 9-2 to the over away from home. Give me the Cubbies, minus 150. And the over, 8 runs in that matchup there. Next game, Diamondbacks, Braves, 720 Atlanta. The Braves open minus 150, total at 9. Not a whole lot of movement in this one, just a nickel move toward the Braves up to 155. Once again, Atlanta open 150, up to minus 155, totals at 9. 63% are leaning Braves, 51% shaded toward the over. The Diamondbacks are plus 140 on the money line. Braves plus 120, laying the run and a half. We have Zach Godley for the D-backs, Gosman for the Braves. Godley's 1-1 one one with a 7-4-1 ERA. Gosman 1-1 one one with a 2-8-4 ERA. Now Atlanta's 5-3 straight up in their last eight. They rank second in walks and ninth in scoring. Arizona on the other side, the last in runs allowed on the road, dropping four out of their last six. Total-wise, Arizona 7-1 to the over away from home. Give me the Braves minus 155 and the over nine runs in that matchup there. Next game, Blue Jays, Twins, 740 Minnesota. The Twins are minus 135, totals at nine. 57% are leaning Minnesota, 62% leaning toward the under. Toronto's plus a buck and a quarter on the money line. Minnesota plus 130 on the run line. Thornton for the Jays, Odorizzi for the Twins. Thornton's 0-1 with a 4-6-1 ERA for the Jays. Odorizzi's 0-2 with a 6-3-5 ERA for the Twins. Now Minnesota is 8th in hits allowed, 2nd in strikeouts at home. They're striking their opponents out 11.14 times per contest. Toronto on the other side, just 3-5 and five straight up away from home this year. 4-7 and seven straight up as the dog. They rank 29th in striking out. 10.2 strikeouts per game on the offensive side of things. Total-wise, Toronto is just 7-11 and 11 to the over. Minnesota just 3-40 and 40 the over at home. Give me the Twins minus 135 in the under 9. Next game, Angels, Rangers, 805 Texas. The Rangers open minus 115, total 10 and a half. And once again, pretty good two-way action when it comes to the money line. Not a whole lot of movement there. Although we did see movement upward on the total. That line moved up to 11 even. So once again, the Rangers open minus 115. They remain minus 115. Total open 10 and a half, up to 11 flat. 54% are leaning Texas, 53% shaded toward the under. The Angels are plus 105 on the money line. Rangers plus 140 on the run line. Matt Harvey for the Angels. Lance Lynn for the Rangers. Harvey's 0-1 with a 10.05 ERA for the Angels. And on the other side, Lynn is 1-1 with a 4.82 ERA for the Rangers. Texas is 4 months straight up in their last five, 7-3 straight up at home. The Angels are second to last in road hits, and they are dead last in home strikeouts. They're striking their opponents out just six and a half times per contest. Now, total-wise, the Angels are just 2-8 to the over on the road, 
4 and 13 to the over for the season. Give me the Rangers minus 115 and the under 11 runs in that game. Next and final matchup, it is going to be Astros Athletics 1007 Oakland. Houston open 115 down the minus 110. Pretty much a pick 'em contest in this one. Totals at 9. 61% are leaning Houston, 74% shaded toward the under. Oakland's minus 110 themselves. Houston plus 135 on the run line. Wade Miley for the Astros. Frankie Montas for the A's. Miley's 1-1 one one with a 3-4-5 ERA. Montas 2-1 with a 318 ERA. Now, Oakland's dropped their last two straight. They're also just 4-6 straight up in their last 10. They rank dead last in strikeouts. They're striking their opponents out just seven times per contest. Now, Houston's been red hot right now. Hottest team in baseball. 10-game winning streak. 10-0 straight up in their last 10. They also rank first in hits and walks allowed. Now, total-wise, Houston's 8-3 to the under away from home. Oakland 7-4 to the under on their home field. Give me Houston minus 110 and the under. Nine runs in that matchup there. All right, next and final slate for the show. It is going to be Stanley Cup playoffs. <clears throat> Let's get it started. Boston, Toronto, 7 o'clock Eastern puck drop in Toronto. The Maple Leafs open the betting as the $1.45 favorite. Total at 6.5. We're seeing steady movement. Steady action on Boston, and uh, we saw a 20 cent fade of Toronto when it comes to the money line down to a buck and a quarter. We also saw a movement downward on the total to an even six goals. So, once again, the Maple Leafs open 145 down the minus 125. Total open six and a half down to six flat. 51% are leaning Toronto, 64% shaded toward the over. Right now, Boston's plus 105 on the money line. Toronto plus 230, laying the goal and a half. Tuka Rask for Boston, Anderson for Toronto. Tuka Rask, well, 